Yeah. All right. So, 97 here. 97. The Lord reigneth. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of isles be glad therein. Clouds and darkness round about him. Righteousness and judgment and all habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burneth up his enemies round about. His lightning enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The, the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. So God's, God's presence, you know, clouds, talking about darkness around him. We're talking about fire, lightning. This is just, this is given to um, the power, the power that God has over this earth. And um, clearly, as it, as it states in the first, you know, first verses there, like that's his reign over the earth. That's his power and his majesty makes even makes even his his enemies burn up. They get too close to that consuming fire. Um, um, so that's <laughs> that's God. That's God's power. The heavens declare his righteousness. Verse six. And all the people see his glory. Confounded be all that they serve graven images. The idol gods that boast themselves of idols. Worship him, all ye gods. Verse 8. Zion heard and was glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoice because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth. The most high God. Thou art exalted far above all gods. The most high God. Yet that love the Lord he evil. He preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. Anybody love, anybody love evil? <laughs> you know, um, there are some that do, many that do, but you know, uh, the Lord, the Lord is saying here that we should hate evil. And if we, and if we hate evil, we should love the Lord. You that love the Lord, as verse 10 said, ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. So he's going to preserve our souls. He's going to deliver us out of the hand of the wicked. He's, he's our deliverer. Amen. Verse 11. Light is sown for the righteousness and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteousness, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. So rejoice. Be glad, be glad, because the righteous have nothing to worry about. Amen. The righteous have nothing to worry about. We don't. Um, that consuming fire, <laughs> they're just gonna, they're just gonna um, melt those hills. That that states right there in this chapter. Um, that consuming fire. You know, if we're if we're if we're being righteous, we have nothing to worry about. The righteous have nothing to worry about. You know, we 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 looking for, we're looking forward to the coming. Of the Christ, we're looking forward. We're looking forward to that. So we have the righteous light is sown for the righteous, and the gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord. What a reason to to rejoice! You know, what a magnificent reason to rejoice. Amen. Amen. Um, verse. Okay, sorry. Chapter ninety-eight. All right, this is the last one here. All right. Um, oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. For he hath done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him the victory. And the Lord hath made known his salvation. For his righteousness hath he openly shrewd in the sight of the heathen. So he's showing his righteousness in the sight of all. So everyone's going to see, no matter what nation, no matter what where you're from, you're going, you're going to see the Lord's righteousness. He hath remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. So he has kept his promise to the house of of Israel at all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the earth make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise amen sing unto the Lord with the harp with the harp the voice of a song with the trumpets the sound of a cornet make a joyful noise before the Lord that sound like a big band you know they're pumping pumping that music <laughs> you know making a joyful noise to the Lord Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Amen. Um, verse, verse 7. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the world and 
they that dwell up therein. Let the floods clap their hands. Let the hills be joyful together before the Lord. For he come up to judge the earth with righteousness. He shall judge the world and the people with equity. He's going to judge the people with fairness. He's going to judge the people with fairness. Um, so, the um, thing I got from that chapter as well is, um, you know, we serve a, we, the Lord has done marvelous things. Marvelous things. Um, he's a marvelous God. Um, and he's done some marvelous things. And he will return. He, he will return to judge this earth. And um, the righteous have, as I said before, have nothing to worry about. Um, so, um, you know, this just goes to show just God's, God's reign and God's sovereignty, God's power is to be revered among all nations, above all gods. You know, this, um, these three chapters really, really spoke to me in regards to that. God being above all. He is the most high God. Amen. So um, that's all I have for you. Uh, I hope everyone's being I hope everyone's being safe, blessed, and uh, and that is Bible study for tonight. Hope everyone is blessed. Uh, I'm gonna pray, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for your word. Thank you for you know your your instruction in your word, Lord. Let us let us take from it, Lord. Let us be doers and hearers, Lord. Let us continue to spread your gospel. Let us spread your gospel everywhere we go, Lord. Let us just um, just 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 marvel at all your works that you're doing in each of our lives, Lord. Let us just marvel and let's share the work. Let's share the work, no matter where we are, Lord. We thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God be blessed.